So, a memory keeps coming to mind, and I think I need to put it on video so maybe it will transfer to you guys. <laughs> it's usually what I do in my journal, and then I just leave it there, and then I can move on with my day. So I'm not writing anymore. I'm just sh gonna share through YouTube, videos, whatever. So, it all started yesterday. We went to the dog park, and then there was a lady there, and we were talking about Kovu. He, well, he did. I wish I recorded it. It was hilarious. He carries a ball, huge ball, by a little thread. And then the big dogs are trying to get him. <clears throat> and he growled. He went after one of the big dogs. Like, get off of me. I was impressed. It was the first time I ever seen that. He getting some uh, aggression in him. Getting that from Jaden, my other dog. Anyway, so Kovu, yes, I'm talking about you. Um, he was eating something. <laughs> I said he's always got something in his mouth, always. Um, he's like a vacuum. So I went over there and I'm like, it's probably poop. It was. He likes to eat dog poop. It's kind of gross. And she was saying that they're her dog likes to eat cat poop. I said, I don't have any cats around, but they have two cats that eat, that are inside and outside cats. And I'm like, ugh. And I said, my boxer, Kedron, he was my heart. He was there when I, he was my first dog once I got um, better. My first ever breakdown when I hit rock bottom, I've told you that, um, I got him. So he was like my emotional support animal. Anyways, <clears throat> I said, Kedron liked to eat ge geese poop. <laughs> so we used to walk around this big river. There's actually water in it, which is kind of crazy in Kansas. Um, and there would be geese that just, you know, m moseying along or whatever. And there'd be geese poop everywhere on the sidewalk. And Kedron would like to eat it. Ugh. Well, she said that geese poop can kill a dog. I said, oh, well, I said, at least it didn't kill him. <laughs> I said, well, he is, that didn't kill him, but he did die. So that's what I'm trying to get off my chest. Um, I miss him so much, but I got Kovu. Yeah, he's, Kovu is um, my emotional support animal now. And he's been good for me and Jaden. Jaden is 11 years old. <laughs> so he's just always slept and I always slept. So Kovu has been, brought a lot of entertainment into our lives. So anyway, um... So the last, last thing I remember about Kedron, last time I saw him, was he was chasing after me when I was going to college. <clears throat> he had never been away from me before. So that's the last thing I, last time I saw him was in my rear view mirror and I was driving. So I went to college, went to a physical therapy assistant school, very busy, you know, and I was excited to go home and see Kedron and my dad and Jaden and Connie um, and when I pulled up I went home for Thanksgiving when I pulled up my dad had a step stool which I thought was very odd and he set it in front of him and I looked around I looked around and asked where's Keetron My dad said that he got hit by a car. <sighs> and he, my dad suffers from depression and anxiety. No, he doesn't, he doesn't have anxiety. But he cries very easily, just like me. So he started crying. And that's why he had the step stool, so I could. <laughs> my dad is six foot tall. I'm five two. I didn't get my looks or my 
height from my dad. I look, I look like my mother. Um, and the same body shape. Anyways. Um, so he had a step stool because I'm short. And he just held me. And I just cried. So. Uh, I couldn't look at a dog after that. <sighs> This is what I needed. Thank you guys. <laughs> These are healing tears. I just need to get it off my chest and actually say it out loud. So that Thanksgiving was pretty sad. I kept looking outside thinking I would see Kedron. So what happened was they were all, it was like eight, eight o'clock at night and the dogs usually go into the dog house, you know? So, you know, just an ordinary night. My dad's settling in for the night. Dogs usually, you know, they're his dogs like to bark at the coyotes or whatever. But usually my dogs go into the dog house, I guess. Well, this time, Kedron did not. He went into the field just across the way. My dad lives out in the country. <clears throat> so very rare cars go down his drive, okay? Very rarely, because it's off a of blacktop. It's just a dirt road. Anyways, so Kedron went into the um, corn, corn field. Corn's very tall. Okay, Kedra knows about cars. When I would, I would, I lived in Wichita, which is a very big city, and I didn't need to put him on a leash. He would just stay with me, and he would avoid cars. One time, one time I tied him up. <clears throat> I went to, I walked to my physical therapy a session. I, I've been in physical therapy a lot. That's why I chose that field, to help me and to help others. But um, I walked to physical therapy and I tied him up around a tree. Well, when I came out, he chewed through the leash. It was Jaden's leash. I couldn't find his. His was, uh, was uh, metal. So anyway, I was looking around <clears throat> and yelling his name. Didn't see him anywhere. And I asked, I was walking the opposite direction that he went, actually. I was walking, I said, did you guys see a dog? There was some people walking on this path. And they said, they saw a dog, dark dog, black. Well, he's Brindle. He's, he was beautiful. Um, he said they, he was making good time. He took off that way. I was like, oh, okay. So I went ahead and I walked home. Didn't see him around, all along the way. <laughs> when I got home, he was standing in the driveway waiting for me. He's never ran away. The first time I bought Kedron, uh, I brought him home. My dad found, my dad is an exterminator and he was spraying these people's houses. And my dad was like, my daughter wants a boxer. And they're like, oh, well we actually have a boxer for sale. It was Kedron. His name was not, that wasn't his name. I chose his name. Um, <clears throat> so it was like, evening time my dad's two hours away so I got to my dad got Kedron went in the car and then we got back around like 12 30 at night I wasn't planning on getting a dog yet um so I didn't have anything prepared I had the the I have the I have a um fence a big fence that I bought my dad helped me set it up but it had a hole in it <laughs> or at least a light place where so he could slip out right well the place I lived it was a two it was a house but it was I had my house my my house was up here and another person's house was here they divided a house into two okay so the dog house was behind hers back here by the garage 
Okay. So, it wasn't prepared and I had to go to work the next day and I didn't want to leave him in the house because I didn't know what he would do. I didn't want to destroy the rental apartment. So, I put him in the cage, right? So, and when I got home, I pulled up. My door is in the front. I pulled up. <laughs> And he ran across the front yard and then he stopped and looked at me like where the hell have you been <laughs> he hadn't been at my house or at that house more than 24 hours not even it hadn't been a full day yet and he knew he lived there it was crazy he said my neighbor she said that he just circled the house and he would sit in front of her her door like he knew he lived there it was crazy yes we were that connected <laughs> oh i made uh kedron was my life i almost broke up with my boyfriend a couple times over kedron he will tell you <laughs> i tell you a story okay so uh my ex he didn't really do much okay never had a job not really or at least it never helped me out <clears throat> Anyways, so I was always working, right? So his job was to let Kedron out because I worked night shift. Let him out to go potty. Well, he let him out to go potty, right? But he fell asleep on the couch. He let him out and then fell asleep on the couch. So I got home, my dog was gone and he was asleep on the couch. I ripped that blanket off. <laughs> I was mad as hell. I'm like, where's Kedron? Oh, I was. I went down the road screaming bloody murder, trying to find my dog. Oh, I was like, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> you lost my damn dog. Oh man, he he will tell you that story this till this day. That was seven years ago. He remembers that day. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, Kedron came back <clears throat> from the cornfield and a car was coming down just right. Perfect timing. Boom. Hit him. My dad, they pulled into my dad's drive and told him, you know, I hit your dog. So my dad came out and we had shrubs or big bushes. You know, here, the drive, the dirt roads here. Kijun was running out of the cornfield, got hit by a car. Dad said he managed to get onto the other side of the bushes. And then he was gone. But by the time my dad got out there, he was dead. Which I'm glad he didn't suffer. That I will have peace about that. But I know he's in heaven, playing around, waiting for me. Um, thank you guys for letting me share. I feel a lot better. So, bye. <laughs>